Welcome to a new season at Filbert Street. And Brian Little's campaign to get City into the new Premier League continues. Some of the tackling's tasty, isn't it? Oldfield, a good ball forward. This is dangerous. Mills returns the favour to G. He's got Davison in support. But G's happy to go. Oh, my Signed off last season with bitter disappointment in the playoff final at Wembley. The city's revival appears to be back on course, and we'll be following the club's progress in a brand new series of exclusive videos. Volume 1 is a story of a promising start that includes impressive victories both at home and on the road. City began the new season with pretty much the same side that fell at the final hurdle in the summer. The one big change was at number nine. Bobby Davison signed from League Champions Leeds United for a bargain £50,000 as a new occupant. City's latest Derby County old boy, replacing the departed Tommy Wright. Sadly, summer signing David Lowe, a £250,000 buy from second division champions Ipswich Town, missed the start of the season through injury. A broken cheekbone in the pre-season friendly against Borussia Mönchengladbach to blame for putting Lowe out of action for the first month of the season. Coming up, the season's opening 13 matches, starting with the big kickoff against Luton Town, managed by City's former manager, David Pleat. First time shot, oh, goodness me. That really should have been buried. And John Drayer, the captain, won't uh, be too happy with that. Ball hangs in the wind. Kamara picks it up. Good ball finds G in space. Now the keeper's off his line. Oh dear me. Phil G really didn't use his head there. Golden opportunity. Peterson had come off his line to narrow the angle. There was nobody behind. And all I know it's easy to say from up here on the uh, on the gantry, but all it needed was for Phil G just to chip that ball over the keeper. Oldfield with the header. Thompson. He's onside. Davidson's onside. Surely. Oh. Oh, he's missed it. Well, my goodness me. Bobby Davidson. Brian Little brought him to score goals. And really, he should have opened his account there. Priest takes it short to Gray back to Hughes he might have a go from there he does takes a deflection oh a great save from Motherland no it's in the shot came in from Hughes it took a deflection Jamie Campbell raced in Motherland saved the first attempt but the ball just spun awkwardly up in the air and took it back in the net Look on from G, Ormond Royd's there. Play on, said the referee. Thompson, superb ball. Whitlow's got a bit of time and a bit of space. He'll have a go from there. Tremendous save by Pedersen. Wicked shot from Whitlow. Great save from Pedersen. Good football all round. Thompson again, curls it in. Walsh with a header. And the Leicester captain almost burst the back of the net with a magnificent header. The corner deep and penetrating from Thompson. Walsh standing on the 18-yard line, timed his run to perfection. And his bullet-like header gave Pedersen absolutely no chance. Richard Smith does well. Thompson's there. Finds Mills in space. Mills has got a shot on him. Great save, Orman right. Oh! And Ian Orman right just holds his head. He can't believe it. Wicked shot from Mills, right hand side. Pedersen got down well, couldn't hold it. It ran to Orman right. 
and with the goalkeeper lying on the ground all he'd got to do was lift it over him into the top corner of the net Hill G's got a bit of space on that far side not a lot gets the cross in Davison with a header Armand Wright must score oh he doesn't goodness me how on earth did he miss that one great cross from Phil G he's got Hughes in support Kamara's there as well Priest, Gray shot comes in oh hit the post and Muggledon belts it away challenge from Walsh Ormanroy to G G still has it shot comes in oh wicked save from Peterson G applauds as the most of the crowd Thompson takes it header comes in back there with low shot oh it's in I don't believe it the Luton players certainly don't believe it. And Mike Whitlow, with what must be the last kick of the game, has given Leicester City the lead by two goals to one. Well, Steve, three very valuable points at the start of the season, but uh, talk about leaving things a little bit late. Yeah, um, it was like last season all over again. You know, we left it late quite a few times, so it's, it's very pleasing to see it going because I thought we worked very hard uh, to get the win. And um, I mean, there was a lot of good football out there. It was a hot day, and um, we're very pleased with it. I mean, based on last season, we have to, if possible, achieve every bit as much as we did last year, and we'll be trying flat out to try and do that. Um, but that does add an extra pressure. That does create a crowd like it has done today, and a terrific crowd. But at times they're getting frustrated because they want to win three and four nil. It isn't going to be that way. Modern football means that uh, you've got to dig in for 90 minutes week in and week out. Those games that you win three or four nil are big bonuses to you. Uh, these games are the important ones, the ones that you get three points when it looks as if it's one point, and, and today is a great result for us. The disappointment of losing out at Wembley last season. How long did that stay with you personally and the club in, in, in general? Well, I think that will uh, remain in the backs of our minds forever, but uh, you know, it, you've got to take uh, one day at a time now and get on with the game and uh, look forward rather than back. Long, long uh, ball from McStyle. This is Oldfield. Sweep it down, but couldn't control it. Birch picking it up now, finds Thompson on the left. Good run through the middle by Steve Ball. And Thompson, yes, he's found him. Steve Ball controlled it on the chest and he squeezed in the shot. 20 minutes gone. Steve Ball nets his 200th goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. And that's Wolves 1. Leicester City nil. Taking on Colin Hill there. Just shrugs him aside. Brought it down magnificently on the chest. And rolled the shot under the keeper. Much. And forced to play it wide again. This is Birch. Oh, and an incident off the ball there, spotted by the referee, Bob Wilkes. It involves uh, Steve Walsh and Steve Bull. Bob Wilkes from uh, Gloucester. Not too sure what happened. You see it on the replay here. This is Steve Bull. This is Walsh. Oh, and a uh, clash of heads there. And a red card for Steve Walsh. So Leicester in trouble, a goal down, and down to ten men. Nice ball then to restart the game. Made by Oldfield. This is Birch. Green for the shot here. Oh, he found Andy Much with a good ball, and Much finds the net. Clinical finishing from Andy Much. 38 minutes gone, it's Wolves 2, Leicester City nil. Ten men uh, battling valiantly here against the mighty Wolves. Another long ball coming in. Picked up here by Dennison. Oh, handball there, was it by Gary Mills? The referee pointing to the spot. G 
Just a minute left of normal time in this game. And Wolves with a chance to make it 3-0. So it's Birch up against Carl Muggleton. Send him the wrong way. 3-0 the scoreline. Away come Notts County through Draper. Good uh, surging run this. He's skipped past that challenge. Finds Smith on the right. And Smith's got space to work here. Finds Draper. In comes the shot. Not enough power on it. It was accurate enough. And Muggleton able to get down and smother. But, uh, Marvellous run that was by Draper, and well supported by Smith. Still no score there. G just getting to the ball before Charlie Palmer. This is G. Norman Royd inside. Just waiting for some support. Whitlow's there. Whitlow drives in the cross. Phil G with the header. Superb goal. Leicester City take the lead. Whitlow's cross, perfectly weighted. The execution decisive. Field making some space there. Picked up here by Ormondroyd. Good cross from Ormondroyd. Oh, what a miss! It looked a certain goal there. <laughs> Davison pulls him to his feet again. Cherry taking some stick from his defenders. Overcame the cross. Really was uh, the goalkeeper's ball. And what a miss. Yeah. Away by Hill. Go then to Notts County. Still trailing Leicester by one goal to nil. Dixter with the throw. there but not spotted picked up here by Smith good cross of the ball is Smith oh and well taken by Muggleton the referee is pointing to the spot seems that Agana was pushed we see it there push in the back there by Whitlow so 52 minutes on the clock and a chance here for Smith to square the uh, match, and he does so, sent Carl Muggleton the wrong way. It's Notts County 1, Leicester City 1. And Leicester survive another threat, but Simon Coleman gets it straight back into their half. And this time he's out, jumped by Ormondroyd. And again, Leicester threatening down the left with Whitlow in possession. Needed some help, and it arrived. A dangerous looking cross and the head of IG just over the bar. Well, it's been a good start by Leicester City. Two early openings for them. Absolutely, a very good start. Leicester City looking very good on the break. Good header, but over the bar. Swung in by Thompson towards Ormond Roy, who inevitably wins it. All sides clearance. Thompson onto it again. Then Oldfield and they. Get in a mix-up, and Paul Williams benefits from it to send McMinn down the right. Young Cavana, the full-back, gets forward, but it's Williams in possession, and it took a deflection and hits the inside of the post, and Leicester lucky not to go behind. Paul Williams' effort deflected onto the upright. Well, 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 it's certainly end-to-end -end stuff, and Williams' shot was deflected there, but Leicester have got to say that they got out of jail a bit there. Kitson doing well, and then a good interception, and Mills beaten to it by Williams. Pembridge beaten to it in turn by Oldfield. It's a good run, an excellent run, and he's still going, and in the end, Forsyth took it off him. Pembridge getting booed by the crowd for an earlier challenge. But there he is again, driving an excellent ball through, and Simpson's onto it. Still Simpson. It's a goal! Paul Simpson with an excellent finish. 
Well, you can't argue with this football so far from both sides, but it was a well-won tackle, and the ball was played through, and it was a good through ball, and it was a great chip, and he knew what he was doing, and there was no question about it. The goal was meant. Simpson takes the ball on there, as you see, and he went for that chip. He definitely went for it, beat the goalkeeper. Yeah, the Derby lads were arguing to the referee then. The ball went back to the goalkeeper off a Leicester player, and he picked it up. Yes, we've seen a lot of confusion, and more at the back now as G hits the equaliser. <laughs> Bill G found just enough space behind the Derby defence, so volley home. Well, the ball gets it again, it's a chance ball played up. And Phil G finds himself, just got the edge on the defender, takes it well. And it all stemmed from the goalkeeper at the other end. But this is Phil G, he's found himself in the clear, no mistake, good goal, well taken. Smith with a long ball forward. Coleman headed it straight against Ormond Roy, this is Forsyth. And that's a good-looking ball. Oh, it was just cleared by Hill, but it breaks perfectly for Johnson. Good goalkeeping by Carl Muggleton, but I have to say, Tommy Johnson should have buried that. And he knows it. Oh, some of the tackling's tasty, isn't it? Oh, Phil, a good ball forward. This is dangerous. Mills returns the favour to G. He's got Davison in support. But G's happy to go alone. Oh, my word, what a goal that was. Pick that one out. He'll go a long, long way to see a better goal than that. Well, well, again, it was superb football before Phil G ever got it. And what a great shot. And really... Derby County have gone from should have been two up themselves and that is a superb goal and it was great football by Leicester City Williams Pembridge Forsyth just leaves it to Simpson he's got Johnson and Kitson racing into good positions for him finds Kitson who gets it back to Simpson good effort Splendidly saved by Muggleton. Held on to it as well. Simpson, good ball in, Muggleton beaten to it, it's gone in. No, I think it went in. Simpson's goal. I think you're right, Oh, I think it went in directly. I don't think anybody got a touch to it. There'll be a few claiming it. Kitson, one of them, straight away. But it looked like Simpson, yep. I think Muggleton made a Muggleton of it, and you have to give it to Simpson. And Leicester come away with the ball. G. Ah, oh, great stuff by G. Completely fooled the young fullback there. Excellent. He's tried it. Oh, show! That would have been some goal. That really would have been a brilliant hat trick as it hit the foot of the post. Oldfield's kept it in. And I've got to feel desperately sorry for G. If ever a run and piece of skill deserved the goal, it was that. But here come Derby again. Well, we're in the last ten minutes of this game, and I wonder if either side is going to create the winner here. In many ways, a draw would be a fair result, I think. Here's Oldfield. Oh, it's a great run by Oldfield. A marvellous run. And the young fullback did ever so well there, and Sutton uh, had the luckiest break he'll have all season. Credit to Oldfield, credit to the fullback, and thank you very much to someone up there as far as Sutton was concerned. Well, this is one. This is a great run by Oldfield, but it's one of these situations where I don't think Sutton realised what he could do here. The ball does come off his own player, and he he gets it to a corner. Thompson, well blocked, or was it? No, the referee decides that Wassell blocked it because he broke from the wall too early. I think that's what he's uh, saying here, because he's fished out the, the old yellow card again, and Darren Wassell is going to be booked. 
And therefore, of course, Leicester are going to have another chance from the free kick. A bit so harsh, I think. It was harsh, Alan, because uh, the ball was played before uh, the shot was made, and that gave Wassell time to make up his ground. And well, the referee has been a little bit hard on Derby County in this last minute. He's like a sprinter anyway, Wassell. He's always going to get out quickly. But here's the free kick again, and the same thing. And Thompson hits it, it's in! They score! That's going to be the winner! Into injury time! Leicester's goal, Derby's disappointment. Well, it's, it's a great shot by Thompson, and, and it, it, it's a super free kick. It's a great goal. But one has to say, I'm not sure whether it was deserved. They took deflections along the way. Who cares if you're a Leicester City supporter? Because Thompson's goal is surely now the winner, and it's come about in controversial circumstances. This is Neil. Good little cross in. And uh, the big man, Daniel, was there to help out. Daniel there again, and just toe-ended that one over the bar. But he's getting into some good positions, this man. And Mills then driving forward, room for the cross. He just got too much outside edge on that one. And no trouble at all for Knight. They're not finding their rhythm at the moment. Phil G battling for possession. Hill gets the ball through to Davison with a strike. Oh! 1-0. Bobby Davison, his first goal for City in this, his fifth appearance. £50,000 signing from Leeds United. A real natural striker, this lad. And there's the end product. 1-0 to Leicester City. Burns playing it inside. Smith pushing everyone forward now. Good shot, good save too by Muggleton. Couldn't get hold of the ball, but he did enough. Took the sting out of it, and Walsh completed the clearance. Grimsby, a much underrated side. Wouldn't be getting the uh, results this season, but uh, their play has a. Uh, and there's a first uh, shot coming in there from Paul Groves. A misplaced pass there and gives the initiative back to Grimsby. Oh, that's a beautiful through ball for Phil G. Can he finish? That's a great attempt by Phil G because Reese Wilmot came off his line so quickly. A very experienced uh, goalkeeper, Wilmot. Mills, she's gone inside. Mills, nice low ball in. This is Phil G, a chance for the shot maybe. The ball just ran away from him. Ormond Royd leaves it and that's a great shot by Michael Whitlow. Superb effort that by Whitlow. A good surging run by David Oldfield. Being forced wide though, into the alley. This is Whitlow. That's not a bad ball. Can Ormond Roy get to it? There's a chance here. Oh, superb finishing by Bobby Davison. Out came Rice Wilmot. And uh, Ian Rormandroyd was going in for that ball, will not beat him to it, but the ricochet was there, and uh, Bobby Davison pounced. Superb finishing, the homing skills of a natural striker. 24 minutes gone, it's Leicester City 1, Grimsby Town 0. Rormandroyd pushing it on for a G, intercepted there though, G getting in, he scored! Oh, superb finishing by Phil G. He was unhappy that he didn't establish himself as a, a real star at Derby County. He says that he's got the opportunity to do that here at Filbert Street, and he certainly will with goals like that. Superb opportunism then for Phil G. Good win by Richard Smith in the air. And this one by Mills. Davison trying to uh, open up the game on the left-hand side, and uh, Whitlow winning that one well, even if it was unorthodox. Trying to work the space for a shot, I think. Davison with the strike, oh! 
superb finish by Bobby Davison. Well, what can you say? His second goal of the night. Leicester City lead Grimsby Town by three goals to nil. And all three Leicester goals have just been supreme op opportunism by uh, both Davison and uh, Phil G. That one did to Ormondroyd. Just it off to Oldfield. That's a lovely ball over the top. Agnew uh, being chased by G and G wins it. Drives it in. Oh, what a superb finish by Phil G. It looked like he'd lost it because Agnew got his uh, boot to the ball first, but it bounced kindly in front of Phil G, who just uh, persisted in his charge. And he unleashed a mighty shot there from uh, blank range that gave Wilmot no chance at all. And pushing forward then. Down goes Andy Anser. The referee's given a penalty. Look at that one again. Anser coming in behind. And was he tripped? Certainly not deliberately by the looks of it, but a penalty it is. Taken by Martin. So, uh, Carl Muggleton. That's the goal. Oh, and he's hit the post! Well, I think justice seemed to be done there. And Leicester City escape. Muggleton's dropped it, a chance. It's there. Calmly put away by Benjamin. Just 12 minutes gone, and Southend United take the lead against Leicester City. Free kick then to Leicester. Free, which waiting for the referee, Mr. Alcock from uh, South Mersham. Put his book away. So Gary Mills there, the number two. He's got a tremendous shot. Seven there is David Oldfield. Steve Thompson's also just out of the picture. To the right. Here's Thompson. Thompson with a shot. It's deflected and hit the post. And let off there for South End. Ormond Roy's header. Phil G's there. Goal! It's taken Leicester City. Five minutes to reply. It's South End one. Leicester City one. Stems from this free kick, off the post, scrambled away, in comes the cross, good head of this by Ormondroyd. And uh, there's Phil G to find the net. Oh, what a blistering shot that was! And the answer, he's only on a week-to-week -week contract, this man. He's just blasted Southend United into a 2-1 lead. Callahan. Good cross with the ball, this lad. It's in rather a high one though. It's picked up on the far side by Locke. Making some space for himself. Left footed cross. Oh, and a bit of a use of an elbow there. The referee's pointed to the uh, penalty spot. I think it's uh, young Simon Grayson who's in trouble. Well, Callahan was on the end of it. This could be a booking for Grayson. Let's have a look at that again. He jumped for it, didn't quite get to over O'Callaghan. Oh, and it's a red card, so Simon Grayson leaves the field. 57 minutes gone. It looks like a Benjamin to take the penalty kick. There it is, 3-1 then to Southend United. Muggleton sent the wrong way. Southend United have got a firm grip on this game now. Birch did well with the interception but plays it straight to Mills. Now Thompson. That's a terrific ball. And Whitlow's got there. Davison should have scored really. But what a ball to open up the Wolves' defence. Yeah, 
he's got to be disappointed there. Uh, I think it's Burke's made a mistake for the Wolves. Whitlow's pulled a smashing ball back to Bobby Davis, and with his goal scoring record and experience, I think he'll be bit bitterly disappointed because I think the first goal's going to be very important today, and uh, that would have been a good psychological advantage for the uh, Leicester players there. Bull again, let it go through for much. Now Mark Burke keeps it in play and swings it in dangerously towards much. My word, that was a spectacular effort. Scored on the rebound, <laughs> but it had already gone into the crowd. Birch turns it on, that's a good ball. Bull, he only needs one chance, this guy. Well, he got the shot on target. And young Russell Holt was right behind it. Orman Roy finding Davison. G is with him. Good effort. Oh, what a tremendous effort that was. That would have been some spectacular goal. But the crossbar denies him. And this is the near miss. Brilliant effort by G from that range against the crossbar. Leicester's free kick, Thompson, G, Davison. That's a good-looking ball into the middle and a good effort from G. He turned so quickly then. Well, it's been a good game. It needs a goal. Birch will try and provide it here and almost did not a bad effort although uh, I think the goalkeeper had it covered anyway Mills Ormanroyd now Thompson it's been a good game this I feel a goal for either side would make it into a cracker now with uh, 20 minutes gone in the second half. Here's a man who can provide the goal, and a great shot! And he almost did, and for a second it looked as though it had gone in as it hit the netting. But it had hit the advertising hoarding first. What a confident player he looks, Terry. Well, he, <coughs> this is about his fourth shot. He doesn't mess about and he doesn't waste time. He, uh, he sees the goals and he's hitting everything at the minute, and... Uh, it's a shoot on, on site policy from Phil G. Well, Brian, you must wonder how you didn't win that match. Yeah, we uh, probably had the better chances. Um, I mean, they've given Big Russell man of the match, which is great for him. He's pulled off a couple of important saves and his handling was impeccable throughout the game. And I think the circumstances in which he's gone into it, he, he's obviously done very well, but a little bit disappointed. I mean, we've, we've had some good shots. One cleared off the line, I can remember. And, and, uh, You've hit the bar twice and hit the post. Yeah, yeah we've done quite well. I mean. You know, on reflection, I mean, the way the day started and, and the way it sort of uh, turned out just before kick-off there, I think we're, we're probably happy to have come through the game, but um, a little bit disappointed there wasn't three points. Russell, it was five minutes before the match you knew that uh, you were going to play. Where were you at the time? I, mean, I was in the stand. I was in the stand at the time. I'd just been sitting on the bench and uh, I've, I've just finished eating my hot dog. So <laughs> I, went, I went up in the stand to uh, watch the game. Like, so, you, so you had a hot dog for lunch immediately before the kick-off? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Did you feel the effects of that? No, not at all, no. Now, getting into the match, I mean, how were your nerves? Did that help not knowing you are going to play until the last minute? I think so, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't have any nerves at all, really. I mean, I, I went in the changing rooms and uh, went into the physio room to see what, what was wrong. And uh, Carl, Carl was sitting on the bench and uh, he was uh, having a bit of treatment. And that was all I knew. The boss came out and told me to get changed. Well, you're man of the match and Jack Taylor's going to give it to you now. Thank you very much. Thank you. And certainly... Uh, and that's been said, I'm sure, many times already this season, but this new back pass law, which enables the goalkeeper not to handle it, has certainly caused uh, one or two amusing and frustrating incidents in the heart of the defence. Throw comes in. Ball back with Thompson. Good interception from Statham. Brentford away. Lovely angled ball. Lust comes clear. Taking it too far, gets the shot in. All Holt fumbles it. Gets it a second time. And that really was a golden opportunity early on. Lee Luscom, lovely angled ball through from, uh, from Keith Millen. But with G. 
turns well. Oldfield in space. Wicklow going on a run. Oldfield gets the cross in. Davidson with the header. Oh, tremendous save from Jerry Payton. Well, that was more like it. A lovely deep cross from Oldfield. I think that's the first time I've mentioned Bobby Davidson's name in 20 minutes. But he rose well. Powered in the header. And Payton flying away to his right, made a great save. Heavy drizzle. Making uh, the pitch and the ball a little slippery. Davidson finds Mills in space. Now, is he going to have a go from there? He might. He does. Oh! Gary Mills, he can hit them, and he hit that. But uh, the power was there, the direction just lacking a little. Good turn from Oldfield. Gets away. Davidson finds Mills. Holman right in the middle. Mills with a shot. Oh, tremendous deflection from Mullins. Gary Mills did so well. Cut inside. Tried to steer it. Top left-hand corner. Mullins read it well. And it looks as if uh, Brian Little, in an attempt to get things moving, up front. Cross comes in, and Walsh gets it away, and a shot! Oh, Everyone thought for a minute that that, uh, well, over this side, that the ball had gone in the net, but uh, it just hit the side, Denny. So an early scare, after good work on the far side from Lee Luscombe. Smiley. It's a break on here. Kuzutski. Gets the shot in. Oh, hit the post. Wicked shot. Kuzutski can't believe it. Holt was beaten cleanly. But Leicester break away. Steve Walsh lurking on the edge of the box. Cross comes in. Flicked on by Ormond Roy, back inside by Hill. Davison with the header, off the line. By Statham, still there. A good clearance at all by uh, Holt. Ball picked up by Barnes. Back inside, Sterling. Peterborough working the ball well. Finally, Richard Smith belts it away. Good header coming in from Welsh. Ebden. White on the far side. Cross comes in. Head up. Oh, and Holt uh, has to get that just as it was dipping late. Whitlow, Ormond Roy, little flick header on, Phil G's there, can he get to it? Ormond Roy again, G's down on the ground, play still goes on, Trotter finds Mills near side, and Phil G is in a lot of trouble, Mills does well, cross comes in, headed away, Trotter with a shot first time, Wiseman's flag up for offside, and now the physio runs on to attend to Phil G. Well, the sad sight of the St John's ambulance men taking on a stretch up for Phil G, who, even while play was going on, was thumping the ground. He was obviously in a great deal of pain. Difficult to tell from this distance what the problem is. but it looks very much as if it could be an ankle or even something worse, a leg. Adcock, Barnes, Hill's there, straight into the path of Sterling, good challenge though coming in. 
breaks with Ebden. And Whitlow can only turn it into touch. And Peterborough carrying on where they left off in the first half. White. Up with low. Bad ball from him. Again, Peterborough quicker to the ball. Barnes. Cross comes in. Oh, how goodness me. Adcock missed it first of all. And Sterling flying in at the far post. Missed the ball, but didn't miss the post. And uh, looks like he might have got a fairly nasty knock. Good running from Barnes. Oh, it must be. Oh! I... How did he miss that? A lovely little ball through from Ebden. Thompson will take it. Walsh coming in late. The header's in. Still there. Oh, great save from Bennett. Walsh it was. He tried to place that from about eight yards. And Bennett saw it all the way. Thompson near side. Cross comes in. Headed away, not very far. Hill's there. Mills far side. Cross is deep. Thompson back. Bennett losing it. Oh, it's there! And the Peterborough players are incensed that the goalkeeper was impeded. But the referee will have none of it. And David Lowe gets his first goal for the club. Now he's got it. But, uh, inside finds Trotter. Cross to Davidson, back with Ormond, right the shot! Oh, great save from Bennett. And suddenly, Leicester are starting to put things together. Mills into Trotter, cross. Davidson laid it off well. Ormond Roy did it even better. But Bennett atoned for his slight mistake a few minutes ago. Leicester will be very keen to get a second goal to take with them in two weeks' time. One may not be quite enough. Whitlow forward. Ormond Roy with the head up. Davidson! In fact, it was Thompson, I beg his pardon. Long ball forward from Whitlow. Great little ball in from Ormond Roy. Thompson. On the volley, Dave Bennett no chance. Well, Steve, satisfying result at the end of the day, but uh, for about 70 minutes you really struggled again, didn't you? Why was that? Yeah, we were disappointed the way we played. Um, I don't think our touch was right. I mean, the balls were getting up to the front men. It was coming back off them and it's straight into the midfield. And uh, we didn't get the passing going as well as we should have done in the midfield. But, you know, we got the right result, but uh, there's obviously a lot of things we've got to work at. And, um, you know, we're happy with the result, but, you know, it's, it, we're disappointed, but, you know, it's a two-goal advance into the next leg. Well, Russell, three games, three clean sheets, that can't be bad. No, you've got to be happy with that, haven't you, really? Uh, started well. I've enjoyed it, I mean. Three clean sheets, I mean, you can't ask for no more, can you, really? Somewhat disappointing performance for about 70 minutes tonight. Uh, what did it look like from the back where you were? Well, it, to be honest, I think it started from me, really. I mean, the kicking was terrible tonight, and uh, it weren't the prettiest of games, but, uh, I mean, we, we coped, so, I mean, I'll have to see how it goes from here. Now, you've been in goal for three games now. Has, has the manager said anything to you about um, the rest of the season or the immediate future? No, he said nothing at the moment, no. We'll have to just wait and see. Is there. Ball in and a good header, a great save by Russell Holt, the young Leicester goalkeeper. Long must have thought that he was on the target that time. So 
there's still no score here at uh, Vicarage Road. As Thompson spreads the ball nicely. That's a good ball for Davison. Davison a clinical finisher and there it is. 1-0, just 10 minutes gone. And Bobby Davison shows what he's best at. Found the space there, held off the challenge of Dublin and beat Perry Suckling with ease. Hunt getting that ball through, looking for Ormondroyd. Support from Mills. Nicely taken there by David Lowe. Good turn, good control. Lowe still in possession. Good shot coming in there. Oh, just cleared Perry Suckling's bar. Watford desperate to get out of a bad run, and the chance here may be. Well, Russell Holt was quickly off his line. He's done well. It's picked up here by Dublin, though. Watford still coming forward. Without a win in the seven previous games. They're trying desperately to get back on level terms here. That shot coming in from Trevor Putney. Corner then to Leicester City. Go the heads. Oh! And that one deceived everyone, including Perry Sucklin. It came off David Lowe. Lowe back in the side after that uh, cheekbone fracture in the pre-season. So Leicester looking good at the moment. Looking for their first away win of the season. Leading Watford by two goals to nil as Thompson gets in the cross and Suckling's in trouble again. 3-0 it is. Just nine minutes left for play and Ian Ormeroyd celebrates in a most unusual way. There it is again, the cross from Thompson, and there's Ormond Roy's header over the top of Sucklin. 3-0 to Leicester. So Leicester City clinched their first away win of the season. Davison, Lowe and Ormond Roy the scorers. It's Watford nil, Leicester City, three. Corner then to Newcastle United. ball in, Kilkline got the touch, the shot from Brock, a perfect finish, nine minutes gone and Kevin Brock shoots Newcastle United into the lead, everything's going right for the Geordies right now, Walsh with the header, picked up though by O'Brien, very much the fulcrum of the midfield, O'Brien spreads the ball well again, the shot coming in from Christensen, Put under a little bit of pressure there. O'Brien again. Chip forward. Russell Hole's come off his line. Oh, this time that one. And the referee points immediately to the spot. Kelly, the man brought down. He's got a bit of pace, this lad. But the timing of the challenge was just slightly out. And uh, right on the Half-time whistle, surely, as Mick Quinn steps up to take the penalty. Oh, sent Young Holt the wrong way. It's 2-0 to Newcastle United. Grayson. He's gone astray again, picked up by Sheedy. O'Brien. Referee waving play on. This is Nielsen. He tries a long shot there. It was always rising above Holt's bar. Kevin Brock then, former England under-21 international with the corner kick. Just going for the near post, rambled away by Leicester. Picked up though by O'Brien. Oh, good control by O'Brien, brought down by Smith. Thinking a little run there by O'Brien. Free kick to Newcastle United. Good to position this to get a strike on goal. Kevin Brock seems to be uh, taking charge of the free kick. But 
So Kevin Sheed is also there. He's a fine striker of the ball. And so too is O'Brien, the man with his hands on his hips. And the number four shirt. Brock then. His foot on the ball. Michael Kelly moving into the wall. Oh, and it was Sheedy. Sheedy who found the gap. 57 minutes gone, 3-0 to Newcastle United. Stimson's free kick. And there's no marking there, this is Quinn, oh he's picked his spot. Newcastle United are on their way to Italy. Nick Quinn's second of the night, it's Newcastle United 4, Leicester City 0. Joking, almost got there. Archdeacon, far side, long ball, Biggins in a chase. Hill gets there first. Cross comes in deep. Oh, and just off the head of Brendan O'Connell. And it was Steve Walsh in the nick of time. Lovely deep cross, far side. Ramel, not O'Connell, I beg his pardon. And Walsh got there just in the nick of time. Might try a shot, doesn't. Good challenge comes in from Hill. Thompson, Orman Roy, far side. Does well. Tries the shot, a bit optimistic. Still wins it. Knight him. Oh, great save from Butler. Davidson's there. Butler again. Well, that was a lovely skill from Ian Orman Roy. Lost it, got it again, turned it inside. And Julian Joykin. First time shot. Butler got down well. As Davidson came in for the rebound. Davidson almost got away. Little flick, good challenge, picked up by Oldfield. Good pace from Oldfield. Ball to Davidson. Joykin's in the middle. Oh, a great save from Butler. An incredible save from Lee Butler. But Julian Joykin is getting in the right place at the right time. Oldfield started it all. Ball to the far side. Deep low cross from Davidson. And I think at the end of the day, it was probably the defender that just got there before Joykin. Slipped in with the left foot, a glancing header right in! And Wayne Biggins immediately pays off a big chunk of his transfer fee. Archdeacon's angled free kick. The Leicester defence stood still. And Wayne Biggins, with a glancing header, gave Russell Holt absolutely no chance. Thompson back with Hill. Good ball, Davison through. Yeah, oh, a tremendous save again from Butler. But no, the referee deciding that uh, Butler hadn't got a hand to that. Lovely through ball. Davidson one on one with Butler. I thought Butler had tipped it past, but uh, difficult to see from this angle. But Davison did everything right. Thompson forward, Davidson gets a break straight away. Has he got the pace? He's forced to check. Cross comes in. It's there, straight away. What a tremendous start for Leicester. The mistake at the back by Jamie Robinson. Davidson chased after it was forced to check, the cross came in. Everyone was getting themselves in a bit of a tangle. It broke to Simon Grayson, and he made no mistake. Grayson on a run, lovely ball from Thompson. Can Grayson get the cross in? Yes, he can. But Robinson gives away the corner.
Thompson will take it and he'll take his time and again Walsh lurking on the edge of the 18 yard box cross comes in flicked on oh it's there Davidson this time Bobby Davidson gets his fifth goal of the season corner from Thompson flicked on and full marks to young Joy Kim because it was he that distracted uh, Lee Butler momentarily and the loose ball was hammered high and hard by Bobby Davidson his fifth goal of the season well Brian at the end of the day three more valuable points but perhaps uh, performance lacking just a little well I think the conditions were very difficult and I think the fact that uh, Barnsley scored a goal probably against the run of play and um, they're a big strong resilient side who were fighting for their lives at the moment and I think they made it very awkward and difficult for us uh, at half time we decided to well, we talked about trying to be ambitious in our play trying to pass the ball around trying to get anyone in the box doesn't matter what position you play to try and get them scoring goals and within a couple of seconds there uh, Simon Grayson at left backs cropped up in their box and scored so um, whilst it wasn't really uh, flowing football uh, for us it was a good performance and a good result I mean again we've turned up for a game uh, hours before the kickoff, had to change the side because of a couple of lads not recovering from injury, as we expected them to do. Uh, given debuts to a young player, got another young player on the bench, a young goalkeeper in. I think the problems have been there uh, before the game, and yet once again we've gone out and won, and we're very pleased with that. And it was a particularly good result coming on the back of that uh, midweek defeat, wasn't it? Well, I think again, I mean, we within the dressing room, the midweek game, um, the result at the end of it all. I mean, we don't like losing games, but there were certain things said in the dressing room at half-time which probably led us towards losing that game. Perhaps not 4-0, we weren't looking at that. Uh, but today's result was more important on the back of last Saturday's result where we won away from home for the first time of the season. And uh, the league is our most important uh, aim this season and uh, we're going flat out to try and do well in it. Yet another youngster blooded. He did well, didn't he? He scored, I mean, he scored a lot of goals in the juniors. In the first 10 minutes, he had two, two shots cleared off the line. Um, a tough game for him to play in. I mean, Barnsley are a, a very experienced side, a lot of strong players in the side, and a kid of 18 has gone out there and done very well for us. Was very tired at the end, but um, we'll, we'll have learned a lot from that and will be a big asset to us in the future. A situation I'm sure you'll probably relish is when the injured players are back. Uh, difficult selection problems, perhaps? Something you like? Well, I don't think they're difficult. I mean, the one thing about it is if people are playing well, they stay in the side. and. Um, other players to get in that side have to play well in the reserves or if the chance comes along as David Lowe showed in the last two games two goals in two games coming back from injury uh, unfortunately got another knock and had to come out again but other people have gone in and scored I mean uh, to be successful you need a team you need a good squad and you need good competition healthy competition within the football club uh, hopefully we can keep as many players fit as possible and have good competition within the football club a quick word about Russell he seems to be improving and getting more confident with every game well, he's very confident. I mean, he's a very steady going lad, has his feet on the floor, um, very confident, very big, strong uh, character, and uh, very pleased with his performance again. Didn't have a great deal to do, but what he does, he, he does with uh, a nice air of command around him, doesn't he? And uh, he's got a big future ahead of him, yeah. About a quarter of the season gone. Reasonably happy with progress so far? I think. Um, on the face of all the problems we've had, and we have had a lot of problems in our first eight, ten games, um, to, uh, to be where we are, um, we're very happy here. So another second half fight back had turned the tables on Barnsley, and City were back in the top six. 18 points from the season's opening ten matches had laid promising foundations for Brown Little's side. The memories of the summer's Wembley playoff disappointment behind them, City were once again shaping up for a promising promotion challenge. There's a long way to go before the marathon unfolds, but you can stay in touch throughout the season on video. Look out for Volume 2.